this question from controller man Dan, who asks, why is it not explained that packet rate doesn't save per model? I don't know. Like, I set two drones up on 50 hertz, then I set my whoop up at 500 hertz, and my RSSI DBM, and I thought it applied per model. Yeah. So, Dan, I I've run into this, too. And you say, why is it not explained? That's like, I mean, you just assumed it worked one way, and then it turned out it worked the other way. And, and somewhere out there, someone would be like, ah, why did my packet rate change if it worked the other way? It, 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 so, you know, now you know, right? Um, it is possible using a model match to force the packet rate to be set correctly. So uh, there's a lot of details I could go into, and I'm not going to because model match is a can of worms we're not going to get into. I have a video about Express LRS model match, and you should search for it and go look, go read it or watch it. Um, but if you have model match turned on, then settings like the packet rate are tied to the model in the radio. And, uh, you will not be, do you have to manually change the receiver number though? Huh? No, you just, do you, if you, if model match is off and then you set a model and then turn it on, I believe it sets it automatic. Like I believe it like yeah. issues a set to the receiver. But then, so you've got model number one and it's set to receiver number one and model number two and it's set to receiver number two and the settings change based on which receiver powers up. Is that right? I think that's right. Correct. Yeah, I mean the settings will match with the model of the of so, the model of the radio you're in as long as it matches with the receiver. Like the receiver doesn't know anything about anything. You could just right. assume the receiver is not part of this. Right, 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 right. The, 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 it's just is the model different in your model? And then if it yeah. is different, then it will apply differently, but it won't yeah. work unless you match it up, right? Yeah, but that's the the module has to know that when the model changes, the module should change its settings. That's the key. And so I think what right. happens is that your model has a has a receiver number associated with it. That is communicated to the module, which then loads the correct settings. But but what the, I'm but saying the, is you you don't need yeah. model match to do that. It's just something you could do. As long as the model's numbers are different. Oh, it, you don't have to turn model match on. But the difference is if you have model match turned off, then you can turn the plug the quad in and have the wrong model loaded. But if you have model match turned on, if you have the wrong model loaded, it won't bind. Right. Uh, Nick Sebring says he uses model match, and that is true. So, uh, Controller Man Dan, the way to make Express LRS work like you expect it to work is to learn more about model match. Otherwise, it works. Now, there is a, there's another piece that I wish it, they had, and they don't have it, and they may never have it. It's a, a thing I've whined about a little bit but not enough that the Express LRS devs gave in and did it. And that is, I wish there was a way for the receiver to tell the flight controller what its RSSI DBM threshold ought to be. Um, so that as you change the packet rate, the beta flight RSSI DBM threshold could change, but there isn't. And so that's why I always rely on LQ anyway. 